We have people who are teachers, businessmen, a uh, number of engineers. And the idea is, our hope is, that we can help instill um, Christian values so that they find ways to express their Christian values in their work setting in a way that's appropriate and inspirational for other people. So every year we, we pick a particular topic and this year the retreat for the weekend is the Beatitudes. Um, and after he sat down his disciples came to him and he began to teach them saying, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Even as our incomes grow and even as we uh, become successful, how do we remain poor in spirit? How do we keep true to uh, the mission that uh, Jesus challenged us to to live our lives in a life of love? I know it's a stretch. I know it's a stretch on, on putting a spiritual component to what we do in business. But, but when you really understand that you're in a, a position to help someone else be successful, um, it, is, it is a more um, spiritual oriented activity than just gaining that sale. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. I, I, I think a great portion of my life, I, I try very hard to live in humility. Um, and I think that's probably the most important thing for me that I take from the Beatitudes is that, you know, it's just important for me to not, not have a lot of swagger in life. Blessed are the merciful. What's another word for mercy? Compassion, compassion. Nursing was a tremendous uh, field of study from that perspective, to really understand the human condition and really understand um, what people are going through. One of the reasons why we started this organization 20 years ago is because at that point, there was a lot of us, including myself, was out of work. And we started because men usually don't network as easily and as effectively as women. That's my own personal observation. A number of the retreatants here have actually been in career transition, which is how they usually have, have found their way or the Holy Spirit helped help them find the retreat as a setting to help them spur on spur themselves on to either new job or new career success. I think what I've known of some of these men through the years too is they do a tremendous job of helping to support each other through those uh, desert periods um, and they, they really are true to uh, to their to their faith. Blessed are they who mourn where they will be comforted. So as businessmen, as individuals, we face mourning, we lose jobs, we lose friends, we lose opportunities in our career. So we, we mourn, but we'll be blessed and we're gonna be comforted. And I believe that.